as you might know, God sees everything. And according to the people of North Korea, the glorious leader can read minds. But what about us, the peasants? Will we ever be able to read minds? So today on your favorite YouTube channel, will we ever be able to read minds? Welcome to Brains Applied. We, the Homo sapiens, are in some way already able to read minds. As you might have noticed during the past years of your existence, we can read faces and we can read body language. We can even read clues that people unconsciously give us. For example, we look more often at the things that we would like to have. In practice, this means that when a guy or a girl looks more often at your lips, they probably like you and they want to kiss you. Yes, single people, brains applied cares about you. But what about the real mind reading, the telepathic stuff? Will we ever be able to do it? Unfortunately, peanut butter, as the Dutch saying goes, we will probably never be able to read minds in a telepathic way. However, we do have some glorious machinery that might be able to help us. So let me introduce you to Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or in short, fMRI. fMRI uses the BOLD response in our brain. BOLD stands for Blood Oxygen Level Dependent Contrast. To explain it in an easy way, when we use a certain area of a brain, more oxygenated blood will flow to that area. As oxygenated blood, that is blood with plenty of oxygen in it, has slightly different magnetic traits from deoxygenated blood, the magnetic thingies in the scanner will be able to pick up this difference in brain activity and that is how you can see your brain activity on a computer screen. A case study from Belgium provides us with some other useful evidence for mind reading. For 7 years, doctors had a patient of who they thought that he was in a vegetative state. They thought that he wouldn't be able to smell, hear, think, taste or do anything like that. They thought he was brain dead. But to make sure that he actually was brain dead, they set up a simple experiment. They were going to ask simple yes or no questions. To answer yes, the patient had to think about playing tennis. To answer no, the patient had to think about wandering around at home. Now you do have to know that there isn't just one neuron to think about playing tennis and there isn't just one neuron to think about walking around at home. Your brain uses complex combinations of cell activity to control your behavior. And these new neurons that have to work together are often grouped in the same area. For example, there is the visual cortex, the auditory cortex here and here, and there is a band of sensory and motor cortex. In this case, the thought of playing tennis would activate the motor cortex, while the thought of wandering around at home would activate the visual cortex. To the astonishment of the doctors, they could see clear signal differences and the patient was still fully aware of his surroundings. He wasn't a brain dead, he was suffering from the locked-in syndrome where he couldn't move his body in any possible way. And this patient was able to answer simple questions with his brain. That sounds promising, right? In another experiment, researchers monitored people's brain activity while watching images of nature. Based on their measurements of the neural activity, they were later able to predict with an accuracy of 70% which image of this set of 1000 images people were watching. The big thing here is that this is not really mind reading. This is making a prediction based on measurements that you have done before. And this is very different from mind reading because even though we might have the same reaction in the visual cortex when people watch a specific image, we might have very different brain activity while we are thinking, consciously or unconsciously. Because everyone's brain and everyone's brain activity is different. Everyone's brain is shaped in a different way. No single person has the same brain. 
This means that in practice you will have to put each person that you want to mind read in a chair to calibrate your mind reading device to his or her thinking. You will really have to tell them to think about specific things until you know enough about his or her brain to read it in an accurate way. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video, if you did press the like button and of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next week when I upload a new video and really press that notification bell because just pressing the subscribe button doesn't give you any notification. Press that notification bell and I will see you guys later.